I'm just wondering if you'd like to take this as an opportunity to perhaps clarify what role, if any, the um, corporation, the Corrections Corporation um, for America played in uh, drafting of SB 1070 and ALEC, if they will play any role in the future, and if you will continue to accept money from them, considering the controversy that that caused. <laughs> Yeah, that was a nice story that was, uh, if, if you like fiction, I can show you the whole section of the library has a, a better choice. Uh, that story was simply made up. Uh, now, I introduced this bill in 05, 06, 07, 08, 09, and 2010. So magically to have assumed that we wrote it in December of 2009 uh, is more than just a stretch. Uh, they've never had any rule. That's called zero. For those that understand math, that's the very bottom. It has no number to it at all. Uh, they had zero role in that. So it's pretty disappointing that people can't find enough real information that they have to make up stuff to demean what's going on. Uh, and it's, it is insulting. And I, and, I, and I made that very clear at the time. I'll make it clear now. It was an absolute lie, that report. Complete manufactured misinformation and it's pretty disappointing so I will set the record very straight. Zero role, zero money, zero impact. It was done because it's the right thing to do and first of all you know that we don't have a contract to deal with federal prisoners with corporation commissioner, uh, whatever the name uh, they just says to them, uh, have, uh, we don't have a role with them. The federal government does so why we when the federal government was fighting us, and you think I had a partnership with the federal government <laughs> to employ uh, somebody on a private contract for them, none of it even makes sense. 